Hi, this is Caroline Pointer with ForYourFamilyStory.com. If you read my personal family history blog, Family Stories, you are aware of my DAR and UEL quest. And the two previous tutorials covered, I covered how I'd planned to use my uh, Family Tree Maker 2012 for this quest and a bit of my workflow, uh, my online workflow in order to get uh, offline. And as I started this weekend really digging in through my data, I found some inconsistencies with my gran and, and her mother, Boo. And, uh, and working with Family Tree Maker 2012, or trying to at least, you know, to properly adhere or analyze the data, I became frustrated with it, very frustrated. And um, basically, you know, it, it, there's just not enough room in here, and there's not enough functionality for me in order to properly do a research plan and execute it. Um, I'm not happy with only having bold and colors in order to differentiate. I mean, yeah, we've got some uh, uh, being able to bullet, but yeah, there just really isn't enough functionality, at least not for me, in order to solve a research problem. And it's not even a real difficult research problem. There's a lot of steps, but um, there, it's not a real difficult one, I don't think. So I looked at some task management and uh, project management software again this weekend. I still wasn't happy with any of it, at least not the free stuff. And um, so then I remembered, duh, I have OneNote. And I have Microsoft Office 2010, and in it comes OneNote. Uh, I think it's available by itself as well. I think. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm very happy with uh, this system. Basically, OneNote is very similar to Evernote in that it has um, notebooks, and within each notebook it has sections, which are up here at the top. And underneath, for example, in this section, you can have a multitude of pages. So for me, this, this works for me. I like it. I think it's organized enough for me. Um, what I did is, you know, for each birth, marriage, and death, I need for each generation. So in other words, my grand and my grandfather, I need their birth, marriage, and death for each one, evidence for each one. So going through my grands, I came up with some inconsistencies when I was creating her research plan, uh, quite a few actually. And, um, and so uh, I went ahead and you know did it in table format. I can't do table format in here. I can certainly print out a report, but in this case, I have a mess up in my database, and it wouldn't have found it, and it wouldn't have wouldn't have helped me. Actually, extracting the data and putting it into here, and looking at the actual documents again, really helped me to find these inconsistencies. Uh, so it's important. And yes, I can color code here, but I only did that because I have quite a bit of stuff that I needed to group together. But it's all in table format. You know, in the first part of your research plan, you state your research problem. And then in the next section, like where I did it in table format, you what do you already know about the problem? And where did that information come from? In other words, it's known facts, and I uh, included family information. You can keep those separate if you want. And then you have a working hypothesis. You know, what, what do you think the answers are? I mean, you, Hardly anybody's going to look at some of this data and go, I don't have any earthly clue what was going on. You might have some ideas. Then you list your places to look for the ancestors to research your problem. And that's what I did here. And then I came up with my research strategy. And um, what I did is I did a research plan for her birth. I did a research plan for her marriage, which is a lot shorter. <laughs> Thank goodness. And then, um, and then I'll do one for her death, which should be even shorter. Um, underneath these plans, I went ahead and created a page for locations or entities where I need to look for this information so that when I get to it, I can put results. I have negative results or positive results. What did I find? And add citations and, and you know, and take a picture of it with my... Um, with my iPhone, I can uh, actually attach it to the app. I'll talk about the app in just a minute, but I can actually attach it to uh, OneNote and it'd be synced to here. So I, the functionality with OneNote is right where I would like it to be. Um, 
I'm trying to think what else. Um, so we'll do this. I'll do this for every single person in here. Um, we'll have I'll have a birth, marriage, and death research plan for each one, and then multitude of places or pages to uh, to go to and write my notes down. Some other functions that you have or we have in here with OneNote is that um, you can go out and clip just like an Evernote. You can clip websites or web pages, excuse me, and uh, you can do full or what's visible. You can um, clip photos of, or images. You can clip um, highlighted words or what have you. Um, in fact, that's what I did here. I'm lazy. <laughs> and I didn't want to write down the collection, the name of the collection. So I went to familysearch.org where I, where I got the information and went ahead and highlighted it and copied it and put it over here in my table and it automatically put pasted from and then the link right back to the information and then I added index on familysearch.org just to be a little more complete with the information. So it's very helpful, and it will put this link any time you clip any time that you clip something from the web. It will do that for you. Another thing that was really helpful in here is take for example our strategies. You see these little boxes right here? They're called to-do boxes, and you are able to put them anywhere you want to in your uh, in your OneNote page. What's really cool about these is that they're functional. Look at that. I can actually check them off when I'm done. Is that cool or what? Um, another thing that we can do, since I have MS Office, I also have MS Outlook and I use MS Outlook for my email as well as for my scheduling. And I can actually send certain tasks. For example, when I'm ready to go to Bear County Courthouse, I can send the um, actual tasks from the research plan to uh, Outlook and schedule in there. Is that cool or what? Again, I'm lazy, so I like this. Um, can add photos in here, you know, like images of a of a document or part of a document. That is really helpful. Can't do that here. Granted, I do have media, but it's separate from my notes. If I need it right there to view something, can't really do that in here. But I can do that here. Um, OneNote is great for transcribing. For example, here is Benjamin Brown Vaughn's um, baptismal record. And I used OneNote to transcribe it. It was probably a little smaller and I probably made this a little bigger <laughs> to look at, but I was able to transcribe it uh, right here. And makes it very, very convenient uh, to, for transcription. Now, I also mentioned syncing. Um, OneNote has a an app for the iPhone, and um, so it makes it very easy. It just syncs. Anytime I change this like this right here, if I were to pull it up on my iPhone, it would have those. Everything is going to be synced. I also have a SkyDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud storage, and uh, and I also have SkyDrive also has an app. So I am like totally synced with my iPhone, which is handy because some of these places I'm not going to be able to use. I won't be able to take my laptop or use my laptop, but I will be able to use my phone. So it makes it very handy. Plus, if I find something and I'm able to photograph it, like a document or something, then I can actually attach it to a note into a OneNote uh, through, just through my iPhone. So it'll automatically be on, it will sync and automatically be here on my laptop. So very, very convenient. I'm very happy. It was very easy. I know this looks like a lot of work, but I just did this on part of Saturday and part of Sunday. So I, I, honest, I, I did not spend any more time than that. So it was really easy to organize and set up, and which makes me very happy. Um, one thing I did want to mention is, you know, our software, it's not just Family Tree Maker. I'm not just, you know, I love Family Tree Maker. I love how it's set up. I just think that we could use some improvements on our tech and databases. Um, 
and try to promote adhering to the GPS, which is the, which is the genealogical proof standard. You know, it's not like we're reinventing the wheel. We've had this around for a while. We know we should do research plans. We know they're important. But do the new genealogists do? Do, do, do they know that? Um, a lot of, you know, it used to be you'd fill out a pedigree chart and find the holes and go from there. And a lot of people now, new genealogists, are actually starting their, their work online and at Ancestry.com or Genie.com, and they're delving in. And, and, and I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm saying that's different. I mean, I, you'll never hear me say that's wrong. I, I don't care how we get people to it, but, but we need to somehow foster good habits for research, even, even with people who don't even know what GPS is, but as long as they're actually doing it, um, then that's great. And um, so I think that we it could start with the data, I mean, the databases. It would be really nice to have more functionality so that we can get our work done properly. And really, it's, it's what I call New Age Genealogy. We're, we're, we're making a bridge and meeting people where they are with their research. And, and let's bring the standards to them and in different ways. And I think that we could do it better tech-wise. So um, basically, that's it. I do have a bonus for y'all, for my readers and, and listeners. Um, I did create a, I, well, I didn't create, I did this a while back, but I have a research plan. I had several people ask me about research plans. And so I went ahead and um, made it prettier. And uh, it's about four pages. And it's available to download. You can use it for your personal use. You can use it as a template or just use the information, what have you. But this is what I use for my research plan. So have at it. It's yours if you want it. All right, I think that's it. Uh, this has been Caroline Pointer with FourYearFamilyStory.com. Thank you.